Step 1. Pursue healthier choices. One of the simplest first steps on your journey to combat social anxiety is to slowly integrate a healthier lifestyle if you feel you aren't abiding by one already. This does not mean to cut out your dependency on coffee or candy bars altogether or to impulsively buy a large and expensive workout machine. As always, start slowly. This step contains three sub-steps. Exercise. Choose healthier eating habits and make sleep a priority. If you attempt to include these sub-steps in your life, you will begin to see a subtle change in your mood, your feelings of accomplishment, and therefore begin to resolve your negative self-image and learn to control your social anxiety. Number 1. Exercise Yeah, not many people like this one, but it doesn't have to mean cardio, necessarily. In fact, I, myself, am a former runner and can no longer participate in it due to issues with sciatica. Instead, I found that yoga, stretching, and even swimming are great exercise routines for me. It's all about knowing yourself. The Nike commercials making jogging look so glamorous, and we've seen celebrities running with their nine-month-old babies pushed in a stroller in front of them. But I will reiterate, exercise doesn't have to mean cardio. Perhaps you've enjoyed biking when you were younger and had the time for it, or even simply taking long walks with your dog or a friend. The key to this sub-step is making time. Even just 15 minutes, five days a week, can make a dramatic change in your mood. Harvard Health, Exercise and Depression I've also found, as I struggle with social anxiety, that I appreciate both the routine and boost of confidence exercising gives me. Working out can help you regain confidence by making you feel productive and healthy. Truly, nothing beats being able to say to yourself, I did it. And the release of endorphins from the exercising is only an added bonus to improving your physical and mental health. 2. Choose healthier eating habits. You are what you eat, as they say, and studies have found that there is truth to that phrase. To put it in more psychiatric terms, your diet directly affects the structure and function of your brain and, ultimately, your mood. Cell Hub Nutritional Psychiatry Even certain foods in particular can worsen those dealing with social anxiety, such as caffeine. Yes, unfortunately, that rich goddess most of us slurp down every morning to overcompensate for a night of restless attempts at deep sleep can heighten symptoms. However, one study found that this was more so the case for those experiencing a severe level of social anxiety, noted as Performance Social Anxiety Disorder, PSAD, and Panic Disorder, PD, which differentiated from those with GSAD, or Generalized Social Anxiety Disorder, Nardi AE 149-153. The results indicate that highly evolved cases of anxiety are more likely to be affected by caffeine, which can jumpstart a panic attack due to caffeine's ability to increase heart rate and awareness. What should be confronted by those with cases not to this severity is the addictive quality of caffeine, which can result in dependency that may include headaches or migraines, as well as an unhealthy sleep cycle. All of these instances can only worsen social anxiety. If you can't find it in you to cut out caffeine completely or don't believe it is triggering panic attacks, try instead to lessen your consumption. When you're early in the stages of attempting to gain understanding and control of the chaos of social anxiety, it can't hurt to rule out any instigators. Of course, there is more to choosing healthier eating habits than limiting coffee and soft drink consumption. You should also try to avoid skipping meals. Food is the fuel that powers your body and mind, and without it, you may find that you have more difficulty than usual focusing. This can lead to you feeling overwhelmed at work or in school. When you're unable to focus, you aren't functioning at your full capacity, which could then, in turn, send you on a downward spiral of negative thought, procrastination, and consuming worry. Due to the fact that social anxiety sufferers are often at high risk of depression, you should also try to avoid sugar and high-fat dairy products. Studies show that a high intake of processed foods, dairy, sugar, and even red meat can make an individual more likely to develop depression. Tasman et al. 
The simple choice to try is really the key ingredient here. You can start small by making sure you eat at least one green, leafy vegetable a day or skipping the soda that typically goes with your lunch or choosing to order a healthier option at your favorite restaurant. If you're dedicated, you'll soon find that you don't crave junk food anymore. You'll also find that your anxiety symptoms may lessen or degrade in severity. If anything, making healthier choices will make you feel good about yourself, which will battle your distorted negative self-image. 3. Make sleep a priority. Sleep has a dual relationship with social anxiety. Lack of sleep worsens anxiety, and anxiety worsens quality of sleep. In other words, sleep deprivation, whether it's due to nightmares, an inability to shut off your mind, or insomnia, is both a symptom and an instigator of social anxiety. Due to the fact that social anxiety resides in the mind, and sleep relies on the relaxation of the mind to reach the REM cycle. A destructive cycle is inevitably created. According to the Society for Neuroscience, when you're functioning on little sleep, you're making it more difficult for your body and mind to process emotions. Lack of sleep. Those suffering with social anxiety already have an overreactive amygdala, a portion of the brain that is responsible for emotions, specifically fear and aggression, among other processes. But combined with lack of sleep, the amygdala may become more hyperactive, making you more prone to fear and anxiety. More simply put, this brain function helps you anticipate. In many ways, this is a biological process that has aided species by anticipating danger and reacting appropriately to it, whether that means fleeing or fighting. But for anyone with social anxiety, more anticipatory habits are the last thing needed. In order to combat the products of sleep deprivation, you can practice meditation before going to bed. This can mean laying in your bed with the lights off, in comfortable clothing, and breathing deeply. Try to focus only on your breathing and your beating heart. Let yourself go of any worries you may have. Free your mind space of anxiety. Try repeating a word over and over again, or envision a place you find beautiful or tranquil, whether it exists or not. At first, you may feel silly participating in this practice, but it truly helps you relax and slowly transport yourself into a state of sleep. The Anxiety and Depression Association of America suggests taking up a book rather than a television show before sleep. Sleep Disorders Avoid watching television or messing with an app on your phone before sleep. The brightness of the screen, as well as the content, can actually lead to restless sleep or feeling that you're not tired when, in truth, you are. Instead, practice reading a book or listening to music as both of these activities are healthy bridges into sleep. A great practice I've found is plugging my phone into charge in the other side of the room or in another room completely instead of making it easily accessible, charging on my nightstand. In the past, I would wake up for some given reason halfway through the night and immediately wonder the time and reach for my phone. This habit caused me anxiety. If it was only two in the morning, I would groan, worrying about how much longer it was until the morning, systemically compiling a list of all the things waiting to be done. In some cases, it would cause me to be wide awake and leave the bed to try and work on projects for school or work that would have been much better to tackle had I had a decent sleep. Keeping your phone away from you perpetuates a lifestyle where you don't rely or aren't tempted by your cell phone keeping your bed a space of rest and relaxation, not a place for alertness and stress.